Okay, hey everybody. We are um, going to do um, an activity out of the textbook. Let me make this full screen. So we're going to do an activity out of the textbook on page 627, 627, 627. This is based on the um, stuff we covered uh, uh, in section 10-1. You'll need your calculator, okay? And we are going to just practice graphing these uh, uh, square root functions on a calculator. So let me go over here uh, to do the very first one. Uh, I want to graph this. I'm going to graph the parent function on the calculator. I'll do y equals, if you have anything in here, clear it first. And I want to just graph y equals the square root of x. So y equals, to get the square root, you do second function. And then where it says x squared, that gives me the square root. And then here's x. And then if your um, windows aren't correct, you can always do zoom 6. You could also just graph. But zoom 6 just resets your windows to normal. And there you go. You see that uh, this is the parent function where uh, y starts at 0, 0. And uh, it's a positive because that's a positive in front of the radical. And the radicand is just x, so that's the um, again, a positive function. Uh, so the, what, what's the domain? Well, dom the domain is all possible values of x. x can be 0 or anything greater than 0. Well, that, let me just restate that. The radicand can always has to be 0 or greater. And since it's just x, the domain is x is greater than or equal to 0. And the y values will be y is greater than or equal to 0. OK, that's, um, that's this function. The next one is graphing uh, the, um, the square root of x minus 2. So the radicand is x minus 2. So let's go ahead and do that. I press y equals, and then I'm just going to clear. Then second function, square root, x minus 2. And let's go ahead and graph it. And just as I would expect, it's been shifted over positive 2 units, because it's x minus a positive 2. That minus sign is like, don't put, it's not negative 2, it's x minus a positive 2. And so that's shifted over 2 units to the right. Well, what's the um, domain? Remember that the domain is anything that, in this case, that um, makes the radicand either 0 or positive, because you cannot take the square root of a negative number. So uh, I, if I put in like negative 3 for x, negative 3 minus negative 2, no, that's not going to work. That would be negative 5. You can't take the square root of that. If I put in 0 for x, would that work? No, because 0 minus 2 is negative 2. You can't take the square root of negative 2. It's not um, a real number. If I put positive 2 in for x, does that work? Yes. If I put positive 2 minus 2 is 0, so when x equals positive 2, I have the square root of 0 under the, uh, under the radical, which is 0. So when x equals positive 2, y equals 0. If I put in 3 for x, 3 minus 2 is 1. The square root of 1 is 1. So y, when y equals 3, um, uh, when x equals 3, uh, y equals 1. So that works also. So the domain is uh, x equal to 2 or greater than 2. So we would write that as x is greater than or equal to 2. This is a horizontal shift, a horizontal shift. OK, the, the, the range is um, y equal to 0 or above. So y is equal to um, greater than, y is greater than or equal to 0. So that's what you're going to be doing. The, the, the homework here asks you to um, put these things into your, into your uh, calculator and just sketch them. Um, describe how it varies. Uh, state the domain and range. All right, for example, this is one shifted to the right one unit. The domain, the domain would be x is equal, uh, greater than or equal to 1, because I could put 1 in, and this still works, because it doesn't make a negative. 1 minus 1 is 0. I could put anything greater than 1. So the domain is 
greater than or equal to x to greater than or equal to 1, the range is y equal. There's no vertical shift here, so y is greater than or equal to 0. All right, and then sketch it. If I go over to number 3, there's no horizontal shift, but there is a vertical shift downwards. So this is going to be um, a range, sorry, a, a domain of uh, x is greater than or equal to 0. The range is, um, well, if x is 0, y is negative 2, and it's positive because it goes up. There's no, it, it goes upwards, not downwards, because there's no negative sign in front of the radical. A radical. So the range would be uh, y is greater than or equal to negative 2. Uh, anyhow, that's what you're doing here. Sketch these things in your comp book. Um, here's this. I, this is my second attempt at this video because I messed it up last time. Um, when you get here, solve the equation for y. So I solve this equation for y. I, I, put, I, I switch these around. So y squared equals x. I took the square root of both sides. Remember when you take the square root of something, it's plus and minus. And then I just sketched it. Here's the plus square root of x. Here's the negative square root of my, or minus square root of x. And that this is not a function because it fails the vertical line test. Remember the vertical line test, you just pick a vertical line anywhere. And if it, at any point it goes through the function twice, a vertical line, then it's not a function. All right, I could take a vertical line anywhere uh, except right here. Any place where it goes through twice, it, that eliminates it from being a function. It's a real graph, but it's not a function. Okay, and then the last part is I write a function with the graph that translates y is, um, translates the parent function. Um, for example, this one, it shifted un uh, four units to the left would be, um, anyhow, you put that under the radicand, all right? y equals the square root of x, and then you decide what to do at plus or minus the four units. You decide. Okay, this would um, be a vertical shift. You don't see it, but, yeah. Okay, I don't need to, anyhow. Yeah. So how do you, how do you submit this? Do this in your comp book. Um, this is what you're doing after you finish this. Uh, do this in your comp book. Take a photograph of it and uh, upload it on Canvas. Let me repeat that. Do this in your comp book. This is today's homework. Take a photograph of it and upload it on Canvas. You submit it on Canvas, the picture of it, uh, and um, that's how I will grade it. Okay? Um, don't forget to take the attendance quiz. All right, I hope you're all doing okay. Um, I miss you all. I'm in the classroom right now, up at the front where I usually am, and um, it's very quiet around here. All right, God bless you. How do I stop it? Okay, guys.